Good morning, my name is Matthew from Axel and today I'm making a short video to explain how to set up Active Directory with an Axel terminal. So I'm starting from a terminal setup to connect to a terminal server and to authenticate as normal using RDP against a terminal server. So that all works. So to set up Active Directory, enter Setup, Control, Alt Escape and in network active directory we enter the domain controller either an IP address or a DNS name the domain name and the NTP server which is probably your domain controller but it could be a separate server that's the timing server and then we can test that and that should get a result if you don't get a date there then don't go any further you need to work out why the terminal can't contact your NTP timing server. Now if the NTP server is greyed out that will be because the terminal has been configured to obtain that setting through DHCP and that can be checked here in network, ethernet, parameters. So if you're using DHCP in DHCP parameters down here NTP can be configured to be obtained through DHCP. So if it's greyed out and your DHCP server does not provide the NTP server, then you'll need to set that to no and that will ungrey the area where we just were where you can enter the NTP server. The second step to configure Active Directory is in Terminal, Security, and here we select Active Directory and you can enter a default username if you want to. The other relevant settings here is this setting here, no active session. So this describes what happens when you log out of the terminal or Citrix server. So by default, do nothing means a terminal is still logged into Active Directory. So if you re-click on the RDP or Citrix icon, you reconnect without being requested to re-authenticate if it's set to disconnect, then when you log out of Citrix or, or Windows, when you try to reconnect, you are asked to re-enter your credentials or shut down, the terminal simply shuts down. I will leave it at the default, which is do nothing. And the third stage is within sessions, session one, authentication. Up here, single sign on Active Directory, we'll set that to yes. So now if we quit out and save. Okay, so now when you reboot, the first thing to note is we have this label here, Active Directory. So we know the terminal has contacted successfully the Active Directory. When we log in, we log in essentially as per normal. But now if we disconnect, We see up here in the top right corner uh, an administrator icon because I logged in as administrator, which means I'm still logged in. So if I re-click on the terminal server icon, I go straight back in without being prompted to enter my credentials. I'll log out again. What I can do is click on this and log out. And now I'm properly logged out and the terminal is secure. So that may be in many cases what's required. If it's not and you feel that the users after they've logged out to the terminal server or Citrix server they will leave their terminal feeling it's secure. The setting is in terminal security and then here rather than do nothing set to disconnect. In this scenario we log in and if we log out then we go straight to the sign on screen not to the desktop with the icon back here so we can offer two options one is that the terminal securely logs out and the other the terminal effectively logs out of the terminal server but stays logged into Active Directory.